Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Wahlberg, your podcast performance coach. Thanks for checking out my podcast. Before I tell you how I'm qualified to call myself your podcast performance coach, let me first tell you what you'll get out of listening to my podcast. I believe you're here for one reason, and that's to have a better sounding podcast. You probably want to sound more like a pro and gain more podcast fans. I want to help you achieve that. In every episode, I'm going to deliver an actionable tip that you can apply to your very next podcast. Just one tip, and I'll never take more than five minutes of your precious time. I know you're busy. Some of my tips may be technical. Some may reveal how to get more from a guest. But mostly, I'm focused on your performance, how you are as a host. Ultimately, your performance will determine how you engage your guest and how you connect with your listener. For most podcast hosts, your goal is to inform, entertain, and engage. Do these three things well, and you'll create loyal and passionate fans who will want to share your message, and that, ultimately, is how to grow your show. Why should you take my advice? I've been in the radio broadcast industry for almost 25 years, mostly in talk radio. I'm a host, an award-winning producer, and have developed and directed top talent. And I've spent years as an instructor at Broadcast College. I know and can teach you what the pros do, the tools, the tricks, and the secrets they use to make great content. So why should that matter to you as a podcaster? Because in both worlds, the listener rules. I started listening to podcasts years ago when the audience was much more forgiving. It was a new medium back then, and people got used to bad quality and rambling presenters. But things have changed. Today's podcast listener expects more, a lot more. The fact that there are so many podcasts competing for listeners means you have to be great if you want to succeed. Have you ever been listening to the radio or a podcast that you just couldn't shut off? You either arrived at your destination already, you know, maybe you were in your car or back home from walking the dog, and you stopped and waited. You just kept listening. You were frozen. You wanted to hear how it ended. It could have been the host, an amazing guest, or a great story. That's engagement. You became invested and involved. Wouldn't it be great if your podcast created moments like that for your listener? When it comes to podcasts, I hear things that others don't. So many podcasters are missing opportunities to be better presenters. My podcasts are based on some of the most common mistakes I hear and the issues that some of my clients struggle with. Some of my tips you may have heard of. They're simple and easy to apply, kind of like no-brainers. Sometimes you just got to know the basics. But others are a little more in depth. You're going to have to work at it. You're going to have to practice them. And over weeks and a little bit of time, you'll get better at it. And those will become great habits. By applying my tips, you'll sound more like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Subscribe to this podcast now and let's start making your podcast better each time you hit record. You can learn a little bit more about me and my podcast performance coaching services by visiting podcastperformancecoach.com. Thanks for checking out my podcast. I look forward to sharing more of my experience with you and hopefully working with you in the near future. I'm Tim Walbert. See ya.